Hi, this is Rendering Artist and today I am going to show you some basics of Lumion. But before we start, I would like to tell you about Lumion software. Lumion is a powerful, easy, effective architectural visualization tool that allows anyone to build a 3D environment and then create beautiful images, impressive video presentations and live walkthroughs. It is the fastest way to pick up your 3D model and create a scene in a matter of minutes. So, let's get started. In this tutorial, I am covering the basic of Lumion to start and the keyboard shortcuts to speed up your workflow. When you start Lumion, this screen will pop up. The first tab is Start. You can use any one of them to begin with your own environment. The second tab is of Lumion 9 pre-made model. These models are great for the beginners to start with and to see how professional do their work in Lumion. This tab is about your previous scene. Lumion save your work as scene files, so if you want to open your previous work, just load that scene from here. The last step is to save your scene in your hard drive. Let's get started with this plain scene. This is the build mode in this screen where you spend most of the time in Lumion. In this mode, you can make your Lumion scene. The bottom right, you can access the photo mode where you can create stunning renders, the video mode where you can make animations, and the panorama mode where you can create the virtual panoramic scene. This is the settings panel where you can adjust the screen quality and screen resolution to see your render previews in high quality and to work more efficiently in Lumion. In this build mode, there are four additional tabs in the left side of screen. Just move your mouse to left side and you will see the four options. These four options are the foundation for your Lumion scene. We will see the each option in detail in future video. So to start with the Lumion scene, you need to import a model. To import the model, you need to click on the object tab and hit the import icon to import any 3D files. We are importing the SketchUp 3D file into the scene. After importing the model, click anywhere on the screen to place the model and press escape. If you are lost in Lumion, hover the question mark to see some helpful tips. Now we will see the navigation keys in Lumion. But before that, we will open the same model in which we worked on. To open the previous Lumion files, go to the Save File tab and load the scene file. Use the WASD keys to move forward, backward, right and left. Q and E to move camera up and down. Hold down the right key mouse to look around. To have a good combination, hold the W key and right mouse button to look around at the same time when you are going forward. If you want to go very fast, press W, Shift and Space. Want to go fast, press W and Shift. If you want to slow down, press W and Space. To orbit around your model, press O and right click on the mouse. Double click on the right mouse button on model to instantly teleport to the position that you clicked on. Now select the materials tab on the left. Overing your mouse on material, it highlights with the green and yellow color. In Lumion Material Library, there are four main categories the nature, indoor, outdoor, and the custom. You can change the specific glass property that you select.
want to need imported model material to human material just click on it and go to the standard material it will give the default setting of lumen material like glass reflection and relief glass and grass you can swipe up first when you import the model in lumen there are different options for the grass in the nature tab you can choose any one from it which you want or which is suitable for your model Click on the any material if you want to change the material property like gloss, reflection and relief. The, re the relief tab gives you more depth and realism to your model. There are several different tab in the material panel like positioning of a material, orientation, transparency, settings, weathering and foliage. In the weathering tab, you can give that material the properties which actual external weather does. It can make your rendering more realistic. The last tab is foliage tab. The foliage tab is used to show the leaves on the material. Now, click on the landscape option to see the several options in this tab. By clicking on the grass tab, you can have real grass on your terrain. Adjust the sliders to adjust the grass height and wildness. By one click, you can add ocean in your model. You can click on height tab to create different types of terrain in your model. Adjust the size of the brush and speed of brush by these sliders. You can create mountain like terrain by using jitter terrain mode. There are 5 different options in Terrain tab that give height to terrain, lower the height of terrain which you use for making pond or some other landscape. Third, flatten the terrain. Fourth, jitter terrain. This option is used when you want to show mountain like surrounding in your scene. The last one is smoothness. It gives smoothness to your terrain to look more realistic in nature. On the top bottom is weather option. In this you can adjust the sun direction and sun height and, ch and change the time morning, afternoon or sunset. By adjusting the cloud slider, you can adjust the cloud density 0 to 100 and down below the brightness of the sky, you can adjust from the slider. In the right corner, the cloud logo is for changing the types of cloud. There is 9 types of cloud which you can change by your own preference and adjust the cloud density and brightness. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. See you in the second episode of this video. Don't forget to subscribe our channel for future videos on Zoomian and rendering. And hit the like button to this video. And don't forget to see our Lumen animation playlist.